Hello, it's Larry. Today I'm doing chorizo tacos with grilled tomatillo salsa, so stay tuned and check it out. The first step is I'm going to start pre uh, preparing the salsa. So what I have here is a pot of hot water and, uh, and some um, dried ch chili peppers that I'm just going to throw in there. These are actually ancho chili uh, peppers, which are actually um, poblano, dried poblano peppers. Uh, I prefer normally uh, pasilla peppers, uh, but uh, a nice dark dried chili pepper of any kind will, will add a lot of flavor. So uh, let's just move on. So what I'm doing here is uh, rehydrating the uh, dried peppers in just a little bit of hot water. Um, I threw a couple of these peppers in there. I'm going to turn the heat down to, to like low and I'm going to put a lid on them to uh, let them steam and rehydrate. And then uh, it'll be about a half hour. Okay, while the grill's heating up, I want to talk about the uh, salsa. What I have here is uh, 10 tomatillos with the husks removed and washed, about six serrano peppers. Um, you can use jalapenos or any other pepper that you like. I like serranos. Um, about uh, six garlic cloves still in their paper wrappers, and uh, a red onion quartered with the uh, root ball still attached to hold all the pieces together while they cook. So. When it gets up to temperature, I'm going to throw these all on and I'm going to roast them until done. Grill's getting up to temperature. I'm going to put on the uh, salsa. Start throwing on the tomatillos. Got a hot fire in the back. No coals in the front. Trying to, trying to do a two-zone fire on this Kamado. It's not easy, but it's not that hard as well. So I'm going to throw uh, over the hot part of the fire. Throw all the vegetables as best I can on there. And I'll get them nice and charred. And... Uh, then I'll, let them, then, then I'll turn them, char the other side, of course, and go from there. So let me go ahead and get them all on there, just like that. Put the smaller vegetables on the outskirts of the fire so they don't burn as quickly as the uh, bigger tomatillos, garlic. There we go. So I'm going to let that roast. I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to roast them and char them at the same time, hopefully. All right, it's been uh, about five minutes. I'm gonna turn things over. And yeah, a little bit of a char going there. There we go. See, starting to char. Starting to char nicely. There we go. Oh yeah, it's looking really good. Turn that over there. That there. That there. And there. The onions. Another over quarter turn. Turn the peppers over. Looking pretty good. Look at that. Yeah. Nice blistering on the peppers. Garlic's roasting nicely on the outskirts. Close this up. Cook for a few more minutes and check on them again. All right, it's been about five more minutes. Things are heating up quite nicely. Nice char going on the on the uh, onion. Oh yeah, it's getting nice and uh, nice and charred. That's what I want to see. It's okay if it turns black. It's all going into a blender anyway, or a food processor later. It's all going to mix up and add a lot of flair and color to the uh, food. So don't don't worry about the black. Um, still not ready to pull off yet though. I'm going to let them roast a bit longer. Turn them over again. Going to let them roast a bit longer. Uh, I, I, I want the, the the tomatillos to be squishy. As you can see, I'm, I'm squeezing the uh, grip. It's not squishing yet, so uh, he's got a little ways to go yet. Uh, however, I may pull off the uh, the peppers are done. Pull them off, and the garlic looks to be about done. I'll we'll pull that off too, and uh, let these continue on for a few more minutes. And check on them then. All right, let's give it a check on it. It's been a few minutes. Uh, yeah, these uh, are done. The onions. Pull off the onions. Check on the tomatillos. Turn them over again. Oh, here we go. See, now this is getting squishy. That's going to be a good one. It's a little tough. Let that roast some more. Some of them are getting soft. Some of them are, are not so soft, but... The goal is that you want to get that roasted flavor all through that uh, vegetable. So 
I'm going to turn these over some more and uh, let them roast and get some good flavor out of them. Alright, hopefully it should be done by now. Let me take a look. Here we go. That's what, that's what I want. Nice roasted, don't tell, squishy. It squishes real nice and easy. The juice comes running out. That's what I want to see. This has got a few more minutes. These bigger ones, it's okay. It takes a little bit longer. There we go. That's a squishy one. That goes out. This is a squishy one. This is done. This is squishy. Done. Yep. Uh, that's, uh, well, let that on for a few minutes. I don't know, for a few minutes. Get them over the heat. And almost done. All right. I'm impatient. I want these off the grill now. There we go. Get some squish to it. The juices are bubbling out of there. That's done. This is good. Look at those juices on there bubbling. That's really done. There we go. That's the one I want to see. See, it's nice, it's nice and squishy. Yep, yep, you're good too. Oop, there you go. All right, I'm going to go uh, bring these in the house and I'm going to put the sausage on in just a moment. All right, time for the main course the chorizo. Grill's hot, hot back here, cooler in front. I'm gonna give these things a little bit of a char to start. I put them on the, over the hot side. It's about two pounds of chorizo here. And I am gonna let them just sort of get some char on them. Then I'm gonna let them finish on the uh, cooler side later so they cook through. Um, I'm gonna chop all this stuff up later anyway so looks that don't really mean anything right now. All right, I'm gonna give them a little turn. It's cooking pretty hot now. There's a lot of fat in the sausage, so um, it's gonna start uh, flaming up pretty soon. But I want to get some of the skin, get, get some of that um, brown exterior there. Just, whoop, just like, oh, starting to fall apart already, just a little bit. But that's all right. I'm gonna let that uh, brown out on the other side for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna move it to the cooler side and close the lid for good, and let it roast for a good maybe I don't know ten minutes or so. Uh, the sausage, is, is just, you can see from this vent maybe, or maybe not, it's smoking pretty hard. So what I'm going to do now is just move the sausages off to the not so hot end so they don't bust through the skins like they are right now. But even if they do, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to chop this up in like little bits and chunks for serving on, on tacos in a little bit. So. Uh, again, appearance is not critical for this, which is part of the simplicity of doing this kind of meal. So I'll move everything off to the cooler side, and I will close the lid and let it roast now. Let's take a gander at these things. All right. <coughs> a lot of smoke. Uh, yeah, spicy smoke too. It's a spicy sausage. Um, all right. These are probably done. But I want a little char on them still. I, 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 like, I like a little char on my sausage, on my chorizo at least. So I'm going to put them back over the top of the hot coals. And I'm going to char them the rest of the way I like, to the way I like them. And I'm going to pull them off. Let's pull it off. All right, that's what I want. That's a little bit of, like a, nice, in this brown kind of a, Blackened skin looks delicious. Those are definitely, I mean, they're cooked. They have been cooked for a while, but I like my chorizo a little bit crispy on the outside. So that's what I got here, folks. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. You're mine. Okay, let's go inside and uh, chop them up. Okay, while the sausage is cooling, I'm going to start pre preparing um, the uh, foods for the salsa. So what, what I'm doing is peeling off the uh, extra s skin and burnt skin off the onions and cutting off the root ball finally on each of these pieces. So you kind of peel off like the burnt charred outside edges and the skins. Chop them off. Just 
much as you have to for each of your pieces here. And uh, a little bit of a blanky piece there. So get rid of you. Put you over here. Pull up again. The last time for the last piece of uh, whoop, the onion. Put you off there. Put you over here. Same thing with the garlic. You take the garlic off. The toothpick. You take the roasted garlic right out of the skin. It comes right out. See, pops right out. There's no need for any pulling around. Same thing with the uh, other ones here. Just kind of take them out one at a time. That was a little harder. It's okay. Same thing with the rest of them. So, you see what I'm saying here. You just kind of walk through each of them. You pull them off. Oh, that was a little harder actually. They're not always going to be that easy, but most of them will be. Uh, for expediency, I'm, I'm going to skip on to the peppers. You take the heads off of them. You cut them in half. Uh, now, here's the point where you decide. Um, are you weak or are you a man? Do you take the seeds and the membrane out? Or do you leave, leave them in? Well, uh, some people in this house like milder foods. So, I, I, I take them out. And it's, it's, and it's your option if you want to take the uh, skins off. Um, I mean, they're so small, they're not going to make much of a difference in the flavor and the uh, texture of the food. So if you leave the skins on, it's not going to hurt anything. But I can take take them off, so I am. Same thing with the uh, rest of the peppers. Cut off the head. Cut them in half. Squat the pepper or the uh, seeds and membranes if you can't handle them. Take the skins off if you can. It's not required, and so on and so forth. And then for the tomatillos, uh, nothing you need to do. Just toss them right into the uh, food processor. So let me finish up the rest of this prep work, and I'll get on to the next step. All right, now with the rehy rehydrated peppers that we went to initially when we first started doing the video, you just take them out of the pot, take the heads off, cut them in half, uh, these seeds are really kind of mild, so it's no big deal if you leave them in or not. Um, depending on how well hydrated they are, you might be able to like scrape off all the interior right off the skin. If so, that's great. You know what though? But if you can't, who cares? The uh, skin is not that bad. So here's a piece of skin going away. Um, looks to me like I'm going to keep that skin. So if you can scrape off some of the skin, great. If not, well, big deal. Okay? It'll all taste good. So this is going to go into the food processor as well. All right, um, time for the food processor. I'm going to throw all the vegetables in here. Uh, I got too many to probably put it in one batch. So I'll probably put it in two, into two smaller batches. So I pretty much take half of my ingredients, which is five tomatillos, four or five. Take about half of my roasted peppers about half of my uh, garlic, half of my hot peppers, half of my onion, you can grab it here, um, about half or a few handfuls of cilantro, that's new, cilantro, um, a few squeezes of lime juice, fresh lime juice, bottled if you have it, but I'm going to put in some fresh stuff in here. One, just one wedge, a couple of wedges. Put as much in as you think you like. You know, this is your salsa, so make it the way you like it. A couple squeezes in there, a couple more. All right. Squeeze. Oh, almost shot me in the eye. <laughs> All right. So you squeeze those in there. Um, now some sea salt or coarse salt or even regular salt. You put some salt in there. All right. And then you put the lid on, pulse it for a while. Take a look at it, make sure the no big chunks are in there. Do it again. Taste test. See how it's coming along. Oh, 
<coughs> oh boy, that's good. A little spicy though. So that's what you do. I'm going to pour this into a bowl and then do the next batch. And then I'll move on to the chorizo again. Okay, here's the finished uh, salsa. All rendered and ready to go. Let's make a taco. Okay, here's a taco. I took the chorizo. I chopped it up with a knife. Uh, here's a corn tortilla, chorizo, some queso fresco cheese, fresh cilantro, and the salsa all piled on top for a delicious taco, chorizo taco with grilled tomatillo salsa.